this video, I'm going to show you how to do one of the parts in this activity, 5.6 Physical Properties Analysis. In particular, I'm going to show you how to do this part here, example number three, on page seven. The part is shown on this uh, grid paper, isometric paper, and we're going to assume that each square is equal to a quarter of an inch. When you're finished, your drawing should look like this. We'll start out by going to New Part, creating a new sketch on the XY plane. Choose Rectangle, starting at the origin. I'm going to type in an equation. I'm going to say there's it's 10 squares wide, so I'm going to type in equals 0.25 times 10, tab. And it's 5 squares tall. Type in equals 0.25 times 5. I'm going to finish my sketch. going to extrude out one inch. I'm going to reverse the direction. Finish your sketch. I'm going to create a new sketch on this front face. I'm going to turn on construction and project this face. I'm going to choose my line tool. I'm going to find the midpoint of this line. It'll show a green dot when you're at the midpoint and then draw a line straight down. I'm going to turn off construction. I start drawing a line, just drawing a line across here, across the top. Make sure you connect the dots, the gold dots, Hit Escape to get out of the line command. I'm going to create some dimensions. I'm going to draw from this edge to this vertice, and that's 0 0.25. And from this edge to this vertice, that's 0.25 also. And this is 0.25. I'm going to go ahead and finish my sketch. I'm going to create a new sketch on the back surface. Uh, once again, I'm going to turn on construction and project this face. Choose my line tool. And I'm going to once again look for the center, center point, the midpoint of this line. And draw straight down. Hit escape, turn off construction. Draw a similar profile on the back. Choose dimension from this edge to this vertice is 0.5. From this edge to this vertice is also 0.5. And from the bottom to this vertice is 0.75. Finish your sketch. Now I have two sketches, one on the front and one on the back. I'm going to choose this new command. It's called Loft. I'm going to remove material, cut material, and then I'm going to point to this profile, rotate around, and check this profile here, and select OK. 
and I'll get this lofted feature. I'm going to change the material to polyethylene high density. It's a plastic. I go to my eye properties and go to physical and update my properties. Select close. I create a new drawing and create my base view and set that to a scale of 3 and project a side view, a top view, and an ISO. I'm going to select this view, the ISO view. And I'm going to turn shaded and change the scale to 2 to 1. I'm going to select this front view and turn on hidden line. Select annotate and choose dimension. Dimension the part. Hit escape twice. I'm going to move this up slightly. I'm going to select my text tool. I entered in my text. It should look like this. I'm going to position my cursor here. Select properties of model. Select material. And place my parameter. Place my cursor here. Select physical properties of model. Select area. And place my parameter. Place my cursor here. Select density. Place the parameter. Place my cursor there. Select mass. Place my parameter. Volume. Select all the text. And let's increase the size to 6. Hit escape twice. And move things around a bit. Move the ISO out of the way. Move the text over a bit. Put eye properties. And to summary, change the title and change this to your name. And select Close. Go to File, Export to PDF, save the PDF file in your Documents folder, and submit it to Project Lead the Way to complete your assignment.